Hi, I'm Dr. Sebastian Gonzalez, and the topic of this video is going to be pectineous uh, sprains, uh, or strains rather. Um, well, basically what happens is, uh, this happens in runners and other types of athletes, but it basically presents as um, irritation and a pinching almost in this front part of the hip here. It can be misdiagnosed as uh, basically labral tears, which sometimes it is labral tears actually, that's a whole different story, um, but also misinterpreted as, as other types of uh, groin strains. Really palpating the area and figuring out exactly what spot is painful uh, can give you some good information going into your doctor to actually brainstorm and figure out what exactly this condition you have is. Now the intent of this video is mainly to show you uh, different anatomical structures in the area figuring out what your basic anatomy is and if you have this problem at all in the first place. So palpating the area, the first thing you want to find is the bony landmarks. You're going to find the anterior superior iliac spine, which is going to be this bony prominence here. As you start to move your way inwards, actually as you drop right off, uh, you're going to find the psoas and iliacus tendons and it's going to feel kind of firm. Uh, moving inward, and actually you can usually feel it a little bit better as you bend um, the leg. So you're going to find uh, the artery, which I'm basically right on it now. Um, moving inwards even more, you're going to find some softer stuff, which obviously isn't pulsating, and that would be more along the lines of the pectineus. Treatment of this area, I'm not going to demonstrate it um, because uh, it's going to be a little awkward on camera, but for the most part, you have to be very careful when you treat it not to pinch on the vein artery or nerve. You have to affect this small muscle, which moves in this fashion um, horizontally, and you have to make sure that. Uh, it's basically soft enough to not bruise the person, yet firm enough to get a good um, tension on the muscle and remove some of the scar tissue. With this injury, I don't recommend you do anything on your own whatsoever other than stretching on the musculature around it. Uh, there's the vein, artery, and nerve that pass through the area, which can become uh, really irritated, especially if you put anything aggressive in there like a baseball, foam roll, or anything that, like that. I think the takeaway message for this type of condition is basically know what you're working on before you actually go forward and get some treatment done. Uh, be able to figure out where to palpate and, and figure out what the condition actually is. Um, I've met very few people where this condition has been a, a long lasting thing and it has kept them from running, uh, but at the same time I've met so many people that are just confused about what it is in the first place. If you're looking for a step-by-step -step approach for this on the internet, I don't think you can find that either. Uh, so go ahead and talk to your sports doctor that you trust and just see what they say. Don't forget to check out our ebook at the website below.